Hi, kids at Candy. This is Stephanie Dupuy with Dupuy Team at Keller Williams West Sound, bringing you the Kids Up County housing market stats for the week of June 1. And, you know, the news is, is that the market continues to be steady, which is just, it's both a relief and it's fascinating and uh, amazing considering what's going on uh, in, our, in our country, in our state. Um, with COVID and other things. Uh, and it's also not surprising because historically housing can and has uh, maintained um, during recessions, during economic turbulence uh, and, and social turbulence. So that's not, you know, statistically that's, that's not too much of a surprise. Here are some uh, key numbers for you to track from week to week. Uh, new listings are up to 84 listings this week. Last week we had 74, so not much of a bump. I mean, if we're within 10, 15 listings week to week, that's a pretty steady uh, uh, statistic for Kitsap County. Uh, pendings, we had 184 pendings this week. Uh, last week we had 169. So 184 pendings, a lot of pendings. So those are still strong. What pendings tell you is that that is a good measurement a leading indicator of how buyers are feeling about the market currently in today's time that's how many homes went under contract last week um we had 85 homes sell so sold homes were up just about you know 30 percent uh, i think we had, we had 65 homes sell last week um, so here's what i'm watching we had just as many homes go on market as homes sold okay so we're like at a standstill. The reason why we want to watch new homes on market versus home selling is we're looking at our, our inventory. We're, we're at about, uh, we're at 319 homes uh, on market for all of Kitsap County. So inventory is steady. It's not going up, it's not going down. We're just in a holding pattern right now. Um, probably the most significant stat that came out this week was that the sales price, the list price did go down about one and a half percentage points. Um, typically, we only see it fluctuate about a half percentage point if we see it move. It went down one and a half percentage points, so we'll keep an eye on that. It, it doesn't concern me or shock me by any means, but it's worth it's worth watching closely. Um, so, from buyer's perspective, if I'm a home buyer, I want to know that. Uh, I want to know right now. Sales price to list price is at 100.5 percent. So, if I'm making offers on homes, I'm I need to expect to make full price offers, if not a little higher to be competitive. And if it's a very hot home, I know I'm probably gonna have to make uh, my highest and best offer right now because that's what the statistics are currently showing, okay? Um, so that's this week's report. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, if you found this valuable, please share it with your friends and family. Uh, get the information out there and as usual, we'll post the stats um, uh, so you have access to these numbers uh, in the direct from the MLS. Uh, like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube page, and we will see you here next week.